Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Anthony from CompSci Studio, and welcome back to your seventh programming tutorial in Java. So, our last tutorial, I believe, we learned the if statement, and um, we're going to be expanding on our knowledge of the if statement in this tutorial. So, uh, we're going to jump right into it. It's a lot easier if I explain it on the way. So, uh, first off, let's make a let's change it up, and we'll make a string, and we'll set it to, uh, of a name of bacon. And let's set that equal to I love bacon. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a standard if statement, just like we did in our sixth tutorial. And we're going to say if bacon. And here's a new little thing that you have to do. Whenever you're comparing a string, like you know how when we had a number, we would use the double equal sign to see if it was equal to something. Um, well, with strings, you have to use the dot separator. Then this little uh, IntelliSense pops up and then just hit EQ and then you could hit enter and it'll auto complete it for you and uh, this basically says if bacon equals um, let's say if bacon equals I hate bacon I don't know who would but anyway it's going to say, so if bacon equals I hate bacon, then it's going to execute whatever's in here. Um, here's a little shortcut too. Instead of typing out system dot out, all that stuff, just go S O U T and then tab and it auto completes it for you. So that's just like a little shortcut. Um, so we're going to print out why do you hate bacon? Man, I cannot spell. Anyway. Uh, this brings me to the whole reason that I made this tutorial, the else if statement. So if this uh, statement doesn't get executed, it's going to jump down to the else if statement. So after your bracket here, just put else if, and then another, and then your br uh, brackets right there, else if bacon dot equals again, um, I love bacon and then put your curly braces at the end of there and um, s out good for you so I'm gonna just run this uh, program right here and it says good for you so what happened in this program is we made a simple string and it says I love bacon and then we made an if statement that um, makes a decision if bacon equals I hate bacon and we know that it does not equal that so it's not going to run this statement right here so then it jumps down to this next statement which is an else if statement and it runs is bacon equal to I love bacon and it is so it's going to print out system dot out dot, it's going to print out good for you uh, so that's about it you guys can mess around with that and you could ask as you could also add as many uh, else if statements as you want, so you could add another one if you wanted to. Else if bacon dot equals a um, bunch of gibberish. But once it um once it completes, once it a once the statement is um true and it runs it, it's not going to run the next ones. So it's just going to skip the rest of them. So it's going to come to this one, doesn't run it, comes to this one and runs it, and then it just skips this last one right here. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for else if statements. Um, I'm going to be going over one more thing about if statements in the next tutorial. I promise you this is going to be the last thing. It's just the an else statement. It's basically the uh, last statement that goes at the end of almost every if statement. So I'll clear that up. Don't worry about it. It's pretty easy. So see you guys in the next tutorial.